all the usual themes of these culture wars uh, were pointed out by uh, the different uh, speakers. Uh, they talked about abortion, they talked about gun rights, they talked about uh, religion, schools, all of that uh, came uh, through. And they really uh, had said after the Democratic National Convention, the Republicans were criticizing them, uh, saying that they were painting a gloomy picture of America and that during the Republican Convention, you would see a very optimistic view of uh, the country. And that was not really the case, because really what we saw from most speakers is uh, this very gloomy picture of the possible future of America. Some talked about a, a nightmare of Biden administration uh, pointing at, uh, like, uh, the uh, representative Matt Gates uh, saying that uh, the uh, gang leaders of MS-13 would be moving next door to you if uh, Joe Biden came into power. Other speakers uh, talked about how uh, babies would be killed uh, almost all the way uh, to just before a birth uh, in the case of uh, freeing uh, abortion. So uh, they really try to uh, use fear uh, for uh, the motivation of uh, this first night of the Democratic, of the Republican uh, National uh, Convention, instilling a fear and showing what a possible Biden administration uh, would uh, do to uh, the way of life, the American way of life. That was also something that was repeated over and over again. And one of the, uh, the speakers uh, called uh, Donald Trump the boss bodyguard of Western civilization, the man to defend the American way of life, the suburban way of life uh, that uh, many have been speaking about in uh, recent weeks. So they tried to uh, cast a real, a very clear distinction between how the situation is now for Americans and especially for Republican uh, voters and what it could be if Joe Biden came to power.